Hello students, I am Shahante from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today I am going to discuss about the introduction to fitting shop part 5. In my previous videos about the fitting fitting shop, I have already discussed about the introductory portions of the fitting shops and some other hand tools that we require for our fitting job. Okay. Here is the total list of the fitting tools that we require for our fitting job. At first, it is, this is the work holding devices marking tools, measuring tools, cutting tools, finishing tools, striking tools, drilling tools, and threading tools. At first, uh, the uh, work holding devices, marking and measuring tools, these topics are already I've discussed in my previous video. You can get also the link of my uh, these videos in the description. Today, I'm going to discuss about the cutting tools and the finishing tools through this PowerPoint presentation. At first, I'm discussing about this cutting tools. Mainly, there are three types of cutting tools that we require for our fitting shop. One is hacksaw, second is chisels, and third one is combination cutting plier. Okay. And in the finishing tools, these are the main the files are there. Okay. At first, I'm talking about the cutting tools that is the most popular one, that is hacksaw. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to show you some pictures like this. This is a picture of a hacksaw and this is the complete nomenclature of a hacksaw. Here we can see the several parts are also there. Here is also several parts are there. Okay. The hacksaw is basically used for cutting the metal by hand. And it consists of a frame which holds a thin blade firmly in position. Yes, this is the blade that we can see in our picture also. The blade has a number of cutting teeth. Yes, these are the teeth. The number of teeth per 25 mm of the blade length or teeth per inch, this is also called TPI, teeth per inch, is selected on the basis of the work material and the thickness being cut. Okay. So here we can see the pictures also. These are the main things of a uh, of hacksaw. Okay. Next. I'm going to my next point that is the chisels. Here we can see the pictures of some chisels like flat chisel, cape chisels are there. Uh, here is also written the chisels are used for removing the surplus metal or for cutting the thin sheets. And these tools are made of made from 0.9% to 1% carbon steel of octagonal or the hexagonal section. And another thing is that that is uh, noted in the picture the uh, the cutting angle of the chisel for general purpose is 60 degree. A flat chisel is common chisel used for the chipping. This is the flat chisel. Uh, and it is also used for the uh, thin sheet metal operations. Okay. And another is cape chisel. A cape chisel is a narrow shaped tool. It is uh, cased mostly for the chipping groups and keyways. Okay. These are the applications of these two types of chisels. Next uh, tool is that combination cutting player. This is the most common thing that we can also see in the various works. Okay, this is made of tool, tool steel and used for cutting as well as for, uh, for the gripping purpose. Okay, so through this uh, cutting edges, we can cut the sections. Okay, and this section we uh, use for the grippings. These are the jaws which are uh, adjustable through these grippers. Okay. Basically, pliers used by the electricians and uh, insulated with PVC cover coating. I'm, I'm telling about these sections. These sections we can see in these pictures. Okay. And it protect from the electric shocks. These are the various applications. Next. I'm now talking about the files. Files filing uh, is the most uh, uh, is the one of the methods of removing the small amount of material from the surface of a metal part. Okay, and in our fitting shop, our objective is to remove the unwanted metals because we are making a perfect assembly or a perfect fit. Okay, and uh, so file is a, plays an important role. This is the 
total nomenclature of a file we can see there are various parts of a files this section is called tip the total section is is uh, hardly tempered and this is the length of the file okay this portion is called tang this is the handle uh, and other parts are also there okay uh, there are various types of these files like flat file uh, round file square file round uh, triangular files needle files the applications of these files are different okay i'm telling in detail of these files okay but one thing file is a hardened steel uh, steel tool having a slant parallel rows of cutting edges or teeth on its surfaces okay if we see there is a several teeth on the face the teeth are usually diagonal to the edge okay we can prefer this picture or this this picture also okay one end of the file is sharpened uh, to fit into a wooden handle that means i am talking about this section okay the hand file is parallel in width and tapering slightly in thickness towards the tip and it is provided with a double cut teeth on the faces single cut on one edge and no teeth on the other other edge which is known as the safe edge these are the common points for the files now i am talking about the various various types of these files okay at first i am talking about this flat file okay the in the picture also you can see this is the picture of a flat file basically it is a rectangular in section and tapered for one third length in width and a thickness towards the tip okay the faces carry double cut teeth and the edge carry single cut teeth it is a general purpose file that we use in our fitting shop next one is square file yes this is the picture of a square file okay this is the square square file it is a square in section and carry double cut teeth on all on all the four faces okay due to its squareness it is tapered for one third of its uh, length towards the point point means this okay this is written here tip uh, also it is called point and this point is called heel so we we have to work this point to heel or tip to heel okay next tri square uh, tri triangular file next one is triangular file it is uh, this is also in, important because the faces are double cut and the edges are sharp okay these files are used for file angular hole this is the main applications next is the round file yes this is the round file we can see the a picture it is tapered for one third length with a double cut on a large colloids grades okay used for filing out round uh, round elliptical and the curved openings these are the main applications of a round file another types are also there like the half round file here is the uh, second one denotes the half round file that means this one this one is the half round file the half round file has the one flat and one curved side the flat side is the double cut and the curved side is single cut it is not a semi circular but only about the one third of the circle okay and the second cut and smooth grades are also used in this file these uh, this is an extremely useful double purpose file for flat surfaces and for the curved faces which are too large for the round file to be used these are the main details of a fly of a files um, i'm not going in detail about the needle files okay this basically in case of this needle file 150 mm long with the double cut teeth are used okay and uh, used for filing the corners grooves narrow slots etc these are the main use okay and the cut refers to a single cut and double cut files also here we uh, through this picture we can see two types of cuts like the single cut and the double cut the angles are different like in case of single cut the angles of this cut is the 65 to 70 degree here is the different so uh, please look into this picture okay so these are the main things of the files so if you like this video please uh, please like and share to your friends so you can get a better knowledge uh, of this fitting shop
okay my other video descriptions and links are also there in the video description please watch thank you for watching